market's not good for them, then they won't want to sell, right? That makes sense because they're not going to get top dollar. Um, but mm-hmm. it sounds like it's chugging along. And uh, the sooner we get, uh, we close out this, uh, this pandemic, um, things will get better pretty quickly, it sounds like. Mm-hmm. A lot of people are uh, in the holding pattern. So mm-hmm. if you don't feel bad, if uh, maybe two weeks ago you were thinking about selling and buying now, you, you are wondering, I might do in the wrong thing, but a lot of people are feeling the same way and doing similar things or waiting and see. Um, however, there's, there, there's always people who are willing to take more risks. So there are, will, there are people who are taking advantage of every moment as an opportunity. So there definitely are tremendous opportunities there. As I mentioned, there are uh, sellers who changed from hold to active because um, they see actually buyers are still interested um, and to make, to make uh, are still interested in making offers. So Mm -hmm. there are opportunities for the sellers. Equally, there are opportunities for the buyers as well. So basically for sellers, there are fewer people um, listing their home right now. So you don't have other competitions. And for buyers, similar thing. There are fewer people out there looking for homes now. So you have less competitions as well. So this could be a win-win situation for people who are motivated and ready at this moment. Nice. Okay. Well, thank you for that, Minwa. And I think that's really good information, uh, especially right now when I think we're getting a, you know, we're getting bombarded with nothing but coronavirus. uh, Mm -hmm. So good to know. So this is just my lens of how I see things. Um, so I have burning questions as well. Uh, we even talked about to finance, refinance my own home. I, you know, I haven't pulled the plug yet for many different reasons. Um, yeah. So a lot of us wondering, including uh, myself, how low the rate will go. And when you hear um, Federal Reserve drop their rate, how does that affect the mortgage interest rate? So my disclaimer, right, as you are, I cannot predict the future. Uh Uh, Obviously, there's so many different factors that come into play to determine where the interest rate is. Um, I can tell you right now, we're in a very unorthodox uh, position um, where we have our mortgage-backed securities, you know, moving up, um, which typically would would indicate that rates would drop, uh, but rates have not dropped. And because of the, the scare that's going on, um, you know, where the investors are, are a little nervous. And so rates are a little bit higher than, than you would uh, imagine. So uh, as far as how low the rates can go, I mean, it's, it's really just how much investors are willing to purchase these, these loans packages. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I, I guess right now the lowest I've seen was like on a 15 year was like 2.5% with a, a 2.5% APR. Um, you know, just because, and that was at the, like the lowest I've seen it, I think ever. Um, and I'm sure, I'm sure other people who have been doing this a lot longer than I have, uh, remember the crash in, in 2008. Um, and I don't even know if it if reached that level. Um, so it's, it's crazy. Um, but we'll, we'll see how we, we do on the rates, but as far as the federal reserve, uh, cutting their interest rates, you know, as, as we discussed before, and, and a lot of people can easily research, um, the, the Fed rate is more tied into short-term loans, uh, credit cards, uh, car loans, uh, home equity lines of credit, not necessarily tied with mortgage interest rates. So, you know, it, it could have a, an effect, uh, but not a direct effect, right? So, like, obviously, with that being cut, you know, perhaps stocks and stuff like that might have taken a hit or improved or whatnot. And that could have adjusted the market and adjusted the rates. So Mm. yeah, just a lot. (laughs) 